Morning, Carroll County. Uh, I, I wanted to follow up on a discussion I had last week in Priority Carroll where I got in depth a little bit on, you may all know on July 1st, the legalization of, of recreational use cannabis takes an effect in Maryland, but the sale and how different counties and municipalities are handling that, handling that are quite different. And um, I received a lot of feedback from people in the county, overwhelmingly positive. I heard from a lot of health officials, people in the school system, a lot of parents, uh, a lot of people from other municipalities within the county that I have shared all these materials with from the organization called LearnAboutSam.org, which is an organization that's committed to smart approaches to marijuana, LearnAboutSam.org. I would encourage people to go there. So I received a lot of feedback. I appreciate it. Um, I wanted to, again, remind folks that this is an issue discussing the sale of it, not the usage. Uh, we are not going to be going out to the, the uh, Carroll County Sheriff's Office or the Maryland State Police telling them to ignore that law that was passed, but this is an issue, it's a local issue of the sale and recreational distribution and distribution of the uh, substance of the drug within our county and our towns and our communities. And what I think is interesting is just since last week there have been some very, I think, positive developments. Um, Ocean City, New Jersey. Ocean City, New Jersey, a place that gets a lot of people there in the summer. It's a family place. They voted unanimously on an ordinance that prohibits businesses from cultivating, manufacturing, testing, or selling marijuana. Oh, wow. What do you know? Let's keep going. Ocean City, Maryland, just last week, did the same thing. We've all been to Ocean City, Maryland. They are concerned about this for a reason. Um, Ocean City, Maryland voted to ban businesses that sell marijuana and allow the consumption on site. They also voted to put to pause mo temporarily on the application process or issuance of business licenses for growing, processing, and selling it. And then one of my favorite beaches, Dewey, has done the same thing. Lo and behold, last week, the Dewey Beach commissioners vote unanimously to prohibit marijuana growth and sales. So I think this movement, if you will, amongst those with, with legislative and executive powers in this state is growing. I think there's a reason that these locations have decided to go this route because they know that this is going to be a real problem. And for those of you who, you know, hit me up, and again, I, I, I love the emails and the text messages and all that stuff. I love it, positive or negative. But you know, don't conflate the two. We're talking about the sale. And I think a lot of people make the mistake of getting into the discussion about alcohol and you know, I'll remind people that in a lot of counties and towns throughout this country I don't think there's many left but you know, we did have dry counties and towns at one point. Um, Damascus, Maryland which is not far from Mount Airy uh, was a dry town until 2013 after about 132 years so don't be confused by the two uh, we are when we discuss this issue of sale and distribution we are completely within our rights and our means to do so. And I think people, when you go on the internet, the longer you search for this topic, you will find more and more municipalities and counties doing exactly what I discussed last week. They are banning its use, and they're banning its sale and distribution because they know <laughs> from an economic standpoint what it's going to do to them. And I mentioned a couple great places, Ocean City, New Jersey, Ocean City, Maryland, Dewey Beach. Those are wonderful places. I think Carroll County is pretty wonderful, too. I, I, I know these places are on the beach. Unfortunately, we don't have a beach in, in Carroll County unless it's on a lake or something. But I happen to think we have a pretty darn good county, and I want to protect it, and I think, uh, I think the rest of us do as well. So as this discussion goes forward, I, I, I want to encourage people to respond and chime in, but I want to make sure people understand what what the big issue is here. Um, go to learnaboutsam.org for more information, whether you're a parent or an educator or, or a legislator or an elected official, to educate yourself. Thank you.